Hello, uh, good to see you back. Uh, this is Frank Davis with OK Search Optimization and uh, going to go over a few things today with you on uh, Google My Business Pages. Um, so we're just going to kind of navigate through all this SEO stuff um, and it can be a real headache sometimes. But let's just go to a new tab. And let's just look at uh, a Google My Business page. Um, I have a number of them that I work with. So we'll kind of just, uh, let's go pick on one, yeah? So we go to Google. Uh, our best thing to do is just to type in business. And this gets you, as you can see, business.google.com locations. And we'll pull that up and... Uh, We'll just kind of, we'll look at Academy Malawang. Yeah, there we go. They're kind of new. Um, just put built this for them not too long ago. They, As you can see, they've had 224 customer interactions. That's pretty good. They've already got an AI uh, that has uh, come up on their page, so that's good. Um, but when you, when... Uh, you pull up your Google My Business page, whether it be on your phone or on a desktop, we're on a desktop, of course, then uh, come down here and here's your Google Business page. They have six reviews. Um, they need to build this up to over 20. You want over 20 reviews is what you want, guys. Uh, you want a nice uh, title right here, and we'll go over that in just a minute. Uh, you want to make sure you have a lot of photos. Um, so let's see if they've added any in the last. So these are all photos that I added for them and they really need to add a lot more photos. This is really important to be adding new photos to your page daily or at least weekly. And they just have not been doing that. But you know, there's quite a few photos there right now. That's okay, but you should be adding all the time to those uh, photos as you can see this last photo here was October uh, was the last time they put photos in so weekly daily if you can do it that's great um, when you come down here and you look at reviews let's just go to reviews uh, so they know that they need to respond to every review this is a must you got to respond to every one of them good bad ugly or whatever and I would just like to say that, guys, if a four-star review is like getting a one-star review. Hard to overcome. It takes, you know, a lot to overcome those. So definitely uh, they've got all five stars right now, so that's fantastic. Uh, people love them. They just need more reviews. Um, we'll go to the website. So there's a website link, directions, um, and they can call. So they can click to call. But if they click on the website, it takes them directly to the website and uh, we need to UTM tag this because we've got uh, analytics in here. So let's just look at the way this is configured up. So we go to a diagnosis and we've got uh, the URL. It's got a conical tag. It's got a nice title to it. Um, it's got a nice meta description to it. Uh, could use a little more text on the home page, but the um, images all have, um, well, it says there's a six images without alt tags. Hmm. I'll look at that. Um, there's no flash on there. Um, you come down here and there is uh, an XML, X, XML sitemap and Google Analytics. Google Analytics, super important, and it's G4, GA4 now. It's the new analytics, okay? Uh, you go over here to internal, and there's a lot going on with uh, SEO Quake, so we're not going to get into that any further right now. And here's uh, another tool over here uh, that I use. It's kind of the same thing. gives you shows you your title and your description and and your H1 tag and everything shows you your headings. It's got an H1, it's got H5 and H6. So pretty good, Academy Malinois um, and Bel uh, Breeding Belgian Malinois. Um, they show up very well in search. So if we 
Uh, let's just go over here and we'll go to an incognito page and we'll go bring up a Google page. And we just built all this out in October. So if we do this, Belgian Malinois Breeder, Oklahoma. And you got four Bardi working dogs, just so you know that's a terrible breeder. Uh, Tulsa Belgian Malinois is one of my pages. Uh, Vandegrift Malinois breeder is one of the uh, one of my customers. They're number one academy. Now remember, we just started this in uh, in in October, and there they are in the in showing up on the main page there. So you have uh, Mickling Kennels. There's Vandegrift. Uh, Another one of my customers. Uh, some good dog there. And I don't know what happened to Academy Malinois, but they were listed here, so I'll have to take a look at that. There they are right there. They fell down a little bit, so we need to do something. A little bit of work. That's my, uh, I built that logo for them. Um, but anyway, the important thing is, and this is where you want to show up, and this is where people are going to call Academy Malinois right there right there pretty good so pretty happy about that all right so now we'll come back over here and we'll go back to the page and um, so we can look at this and we can go okay how many uh, let's take a look how many pages have been built so far usually I'll build about uh, initially I'll build five or six pages for a customer uh, if they want more they're gonna have They'll have to pay more, basically. Yeah, and it's just showing one right now. It has a lot more than one, so that's interesting. Let's try this. Yeah, it's still only showing one. Hmm. Okay, well, let's do this. Go over to Search Console. And we'll look at. Uh, and they're at the top. There they are. And we'll go to Site Maps. This Search Console, guys, you want to use it. Um, it's showing uh, discovered 11 pages. So uh, the Site Map is showing 11 pages. So I don't know why it's only showing one in Site. So. Anyway, uh, we got 11 pages that are indexed, so I built them 11 pages out. So this is uh, Google Search Console. Very important that you know you can look at your performance over time. Uh, it gives you an average position. You come down here to queries, and it gives you, you know, like Belgian Malinois for sale. They've had eight, uh, 16 clicks and 37 impressions, and this is over, oh, in the last three months. So uh, nice, it's showing a 5.8 position for, and here's all your keywords. So you can Malinois puppy for sale. Um, it's had two impressions and two clicks. So it's pretty good. Um, but anyway, this, this is a very important uh, page because it gives you a lot of information. And this is your Google business page right here. Um, so really important uh, uh, Google search console. We use it a lot. so. We build pages out, and we'll go to um, the site map, and we'll excuse me, we'll submit those, we'll submit that page, and uh, get it indexed quickly. Um, so anyway, that's uh, that's your uh, Google Search Console. All righty, so we'll go back over here, and let's just go back over here because we're going to talk about the Google My Business page and. Anyway, so you can edit your profile right here. You can read your reviews, uh, your messages. You can add photos right here. You can look at your performance right here. And we can just look since shows in July, but August, September, October is where, where I started messing with it is in October. And I uh, started getting a lot of traffic up there at that time. So um, if we look in October, at 86 uh, interactions 
um, three phone calls, 44 website clicks. Very nice. You know, they're off to a great start. These are some folks that had, uh, in September, they didn't have any website clicks. So September, they had 34 business interactions, uh, zero calls. So, you know, bringing me on board really helped. So we go to over here to November. We got three phone calls already in November. Um, 89 there, website clicks. We've had 64 website clicks. So the, the Google My Business page is working for these folks really well. It's important. Um, you can add photos, look at perform performance, advertise, edit. You can add products here, services, uh, do bookings, etc. Click on this here. You can ask for reviews. This is really nice because if you ask for reviews and you just click this here and send this UR, uh, this URL right here um, to uh, people that have done business there uh, with you and uh, you can text it to them, email it to them, ask them for a review, and it takes, here, I'll just show you. It just takes you right to the right page that you want to go to uh, for a review. Of course, uh, let me just, there it is right there. Now they can give you a review just with that quick link right there, and there's a five-star right there. Great. Elgin Malinois Reader. There we go. So I hadn't given them a review under um, under this um, login yet. So that's great. Okay. So now they have a new review. Hopefully. Google will Google when they look at reviews that you know if you use the same you know IP address all the time they'll, you know they'll get you they, they won't post it so um, down here there's uh, we we have some updates so you always want to do updates um, they haven't added another update so oh they maybe they did oh yeah they added this update right here fantastic okay November 14th, they did an update. Fantastic. Yeah, they've got a female that's pregnant. Um, I sold them that female, actually. So, um, And their male came out of one of my dogs, but that's a whole other story anyway. So if we go in here to edit the profile, you got the business name right here, Academy Malinois, Belgian Malinois Puppies, Oklahoma. Uh, business category, you want to have your primary, but you want to have a bunch of... Uh, other ones and then a nice description opening date the phone number uh, we use a Google tracking number there uh, the website um, we want to uh, use a UTM tagging so I got to fix their UTM tagging you put your social profiles in there and uh, so we put identifies women owned because he's married right so and the wife's wholly involved with it so um, but you definitely want to make sure you have a nice profile uh, description uh, with a lot of keywords, okay? Um, again, with your reviews, make sure you're replying to all your reviews and, and all of that good stuff. But pretty simple, really, to get it out there um, and just make sure that it's filled, you know. The most important things, guys, is your reviews. You want over 20. Um, he got lucky he's already showing up so um, but you want over 20 reviews you want people to ask questions um, and uh, you want to re reply to all re all your reviews and make sure your websites in there as well so if you come down here you can see that he's got a lot of pages that are showing uh, he does, his YouTube channel is not showing up yet but he does have a YouTube channel so anyway, that's kind of it for today, guys. Um, please like the video, uh, subscribe, and share the video. I'm trying to grow this channel. Um, I'm getting back into the search engine optimization stuff and uh, taking on new customers. So if you need some help, please give me a call, 918-924-5863. Uh, most importantly, please like, share, uh, and subscribe. Thank you.